What's up guys, another board here with more Elite Dangerous Space Truckers Episode 2. Um, I know I said last time that I was gonna try to do some things to make money uh, off camera. I just really didn't have time to do that. Um, I tried it a little bit, but it's gonna take a, a, a little bit of time for me to figure it out because I think it's gonna be a way to, for me to boost um, the speed at which I'm gaining credits because right now I'm getting about 500 credits per run and so I'm, again, I can't connect. What is going on? Can't connect to the, um, to the, uh, the market here. I wonder why I can't connect to the market. That's so weird. No transaction. Well, I can't. You're not allowing me to buy or sell, dude. Well, you know what we're gonna do? Let's let's just go to Chango Dock. Let's get out of here. It could be because I'm having I'm I'm having a hard time time connecting. Uh, I actually shut the game down and restarted the game and all this other stuff, and I'm just having a hard time. So I'm gonna go to a different part of the server here. And actually, I had heard that. All these areas of the game are actually not really part of the server. What they are is um, is different peer-to-peer -peer systems or something, which I think is kind of lame, actually. Ooh, I'm gonna hit the wall. Look at that. What a pro. Let's get out of here. So let's go to Chango, which is my Buddhist. Something's in my face here. All right, here we go. Let's just do that real quick. So yeah, I'm only making 500 credits a shot, so I need to make do something to make more money because it's gonna take me forever to get to 200k. I'm still mass locked. Let's boost it again. Get away from the station here. So okay, there we go. Now let's kick it in. Total drive here. So I think what this is gonna do is allow. Again, correct me if this is wrong. If you're new to my videos, because uh, you came from a different channel or you came from wherever. Uh, I don't know everything about the game. Sometimes I ask you guys a question like, you know, I, I'd heard that this is a peer-to-peer -peer system. It's not, they don't have, they have master servers, but a lot of the um, processing is actually not done on their home system. So I think possibly the connection there, the hosting that was happening was uh, maybe not a very good connection or something like that. So by jumping over to Chango, I should hopefully get into another, um, basically, system here. So let's just do this. Chango Dock, where are you? There you are. Lock. And you're over here. Alright. <laughs> Got a bug in my face. What are you doing, bug? Or watch out, my cat loves to eat bugs. So this is pretty far away. I don't feel bad. You know what? I'm gonna smash this bug. Sorry for hearing some clapping. Stupid bug trying to get in the video. So I am... Now I'm going good. Try to leave it at about 10% here. And we're ways off, so I don't feel bad. Just pumping the gas here. We can do it at 24 times the speed of light. Okay, now we need to start backing up. We're gonna overshoot if we aren't careful. 13, there we go, 10. Yeah, this is perfect. There we go. We don't wanna back up too much because this, the computer will keep backing us up and then we'll get We'll slow way down and I uh, won't be able to hit the target well at least in my experience see that the range is is right but where's my speed well I guess I'm still going pretty fast all right let's back it up there we go yeah the speed's starting to come down now that's good the problem with it really is is like you start dropping your speed too much and then you never make it to the freaking target it takes you forever so anyway, um, you guys, I was checking the comment section on uh, episode one, and you guys didn't really leave anything to talk about. So, you want to talk about tampons? I don't know. <laughs> you guys, in, I, this part of this uh, part of the series is supposed to be so you and uh, you, I can talk to you guys directly, like we can talk together. Uh, if you guys don't give me any ideas to talk about, then I'm just gonna be talking about whatever the hell I want to talk about, and it's gonna be more of a monologue than than anything else. Uh, it's supposed to be us talking together. Um, I know a couple of you guys were saying that you want to see Max and I do do this together. That would be pretty sweet. Um, as far as I know, I, I've sent him, and Max, hopefully you're watching this, I, I sent uh, a Skype message saying, you know, I'd like to do this this weekend on one of the days. That would be kind of cool, but I'm not sure when he's available. So, wow, it's on the right on the edge. Okay, that orbit there. Interesting. So these stations actually do also... Um, they rotate around the planet. So sometimes you can come in and the, and the station will be like on the other side of the planet. You have to fly around the planet. It's kind of sucky. But it is what it is. What can you do, right? Come on, let's get in there, man. 
This is taking all day. So I guess we can talk about whatever I was thinking to talk about. So let's go to my notes. I don't have a lot of things. And I was kind of hoping that you guys wanted to talk about a few things anyway. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about, I actually saw a tweet on this. It was actually a Polygon. I don't know if you guys know what Polygon is. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen me retweet Polygon stuff. Polygon is a gaming website. Uh, it's a gaming news website. They do news on like new games coming out or different things like that. Uh, they do reviews, not as many reviews as I would say just news on the on the game industry in general. Um, but it's a pretty cool site. I get a lot of information from the slow down my ass. <laughs> I'm perfect right here. What are you doing? Why would I slow down? See the serv I think the server's jacked up. Something's wrong with, with the connections here. And I don't have any problems with any other games, so I'm not really sure what, what the problem is here, you know? Alright, let's see if we can get back on target here. How come... Well, why would I slow down? I'm already going like nothing. All I have to do is go under a thousand. Why are you making me slow down, dudes? Alright, come on. Let's do this. I'm going like nothing. There we go. Alright. So anyway... Um, yeah, what, there, what he was saying was on, on this uh, this Polygon article, and actually, oh, I do have the article, so I, I can show you the article, link will be in the video description, is he was saying, you know, all the games, uh, game distribution is going digital. I'm like, that's nothing new, you know, Steam's been out for forever. Um, I remember when Steam was first out, and a lot of people didn't, tr I didn't trust it at first, because I thought, well, what if Steam, you know, it's kind of a new company, it's only been out for a little while, what if they go out of business? You know, that's a perfectly logical thing for a brand new company. What if they go out of business, you know? I don't want to put my money into something, you know, I'm not buying games where it's going to go out of business and then I, I can't have access to the games I bought, you know? I mean, that, may, that makes sense. But now Steam's been out, you know, probably 10 years or more. And it's not going anywhere. They make so much money, Valve's making so much money off Steam, it's not going anywhere. It's definitely um, a tried and true platform now. Um, so there's really nothing to be worried about. Now I'll, I buy games on there. I know I can get I can get access to those games pretty much whenever. But the problem is, like, what when you? It's the same thing as when you buy an MMO, right? You get an MMO. It's all all this, the data is on their servers. Um, everything in the game exists on their servers. There's really nothing. Once they shut the servers down, that's it. You can't play that game anymore. And they were saying, you know, that that kind of sucks because there's a lot of cool games out there. And that's actually should have hit number one. Let's do this. Quest docking. There we go. Now we got a good connection here. Uh, basically, what they're saying is that kind of sucks because I know, like, for me, I still have an Atari 2600. I got 50 games. Hopefully, you're seeing um, a picture of it right now. I'm going to take a picture of it. It's actually in my room in a box right now because I just moved, like I was saying. Uh, and a lot of that stuff still just hanging out in my in my room. So I don't know where to put it right now. You know, in, in my apartment. Coming in for a sweet landing here. This should be pretty easy. I'm already pretty much dead on. So let's yaw over a little more here. There they go. That's that's pretty perfect. Look at that. I'm like a king at doing this now. Felt like someone was coming in behind me right there. Did you see that? So 14. Open. There it is. Sweet. That's easy. Let's put the gear out. Coming in pretty fast, but you know, I'm feeling pretty lined up already, so I don't mind coming in pretty fast. I usually hit X anyway to stop all uh, forward movement, stop all movement all together right when I get over the pad. So let's try that. I'm going to come in pretty hot here. Let's see if I can. There we go. Wow. Oh, wow. I thought I totally had that. Did you see that? Oh, that was awesome. Wow. Okay, enter hangar. So that was that was awesome. That's the hottest I've ever come in, landing like that. That is cool. Pretty much nailed it, you know? All right, so now let's see if we can actually do something here. So I know that Azabon, Azaban wants fruit. So I don't know about... Oh, you know what? I think... Um, Max was saying, and actually that's a good idea. Let me pull. I'm gonna pull up the trade calc here. We'll do one run with the old stuff, but let's see. Let's make sure we buy some fuel, and then we're gonna go to the commodities market. We're just gonna buy fruit. We're gonna go right back to. Um, let's see. No, what's going on? Yeah, there's no transaction because I'm trying to buy. They don't have anything here. 
Demand Welcome supply. Commander. Oh, you they don't. Food. So, okay, the trades changed is what happened. So, I'm at Chango. Okay, so I've got Slopies open. Uh, link, there's going to be a link in the in the upper left. I'm going to try to put this in every one of the space truckers to, to the first video, okay? On the first video, there's a link to how to dock and how to trade. I have two videos to do that. So, I'm going to put in Slopies here, um, Chango dock, and see what I can get on the ye old trade routes here. Best, uh, best profit trade routes. Um, I probably should do round trip that will get me something that's probably more profitable because it'll look at the round trip profit I think let me look at that let me see if it'll do round trip or turn yeah see the profit is the total profit see that's actually trip profit is what I want I should put that a little addendum in my uh, in my uh, slope or how to trade here so 1300 that's pretty good yeah see Dahan from Chango Dock consumable clothing that is much much better so let me buy some clothing from here which is actually I think what they did want at Azabon let's see clothing we're gonna go somewhere else okay submit and we're gonna bring back titanium good it's supposed to be Bianch no. <laughs> so um yeah um uh, I don't know I'm as far as the whole game thing is the digital games What's really cool is like for a lot of my PC games, not every one of them, but most of my PC games, I actually um, kept the box. Uh, it was it's kind of neat, you know, keep the box and uh, display it and everything. I actually had a display in my garage. Getting pretty good at takeoffs too. Uh, with all the boxes from all the PC games I, I have and everything, and that was pretty cool. Um, it's nice to have that. It's just kind of cool to show off. People come over, like other gamers, and they're checking it out. So we're going to Dahan, huh? Okay. Dahan. Let's see. Uh, I can't get there. Mayor Prime. What? Dust Ball. Oh, these are different stars in the system. That's a four-star system. That's cool. I can't make it there, bro. How many jumps is that? Three jumps. Well, that's not good. Okay, let's stop the ship here. Let's let's just chill. We need to chill for a sec. So I need to also do number of jumps. That's too many jumps. Ah, here we go. One jump. I already bought fish. Can I take clothing to Azabon? Probably can't. Let's see. Let's do a one jumper with clothing. And there's no one jumpers with clothing. That sucks. So we're just going to have to dump this. Let's do the best run here. We're going to go to... There's a two-jump run with clothing from Ibutus to Sticks to Opala. So let's do that. I can go to Opala directly. Why would I... I think I can. It's saying I can. Because I don't even think it'll show up if I can't do a direct jump there. Well, let's try this. Let's see if it works. Throttle up. Hit the J. Let's do this. Don't pitch too high, bro. Alright, there we go. So, I think I can do this in one jump. This will net me a thousand credits. That's going to be a lot better than the 800 I was basically getting from going um, back and forth to, um, to Azabon. Um, but I think fish might be better for Azabon. I can make 900. And that's one jump. But so is Apollo, it looks like, which I can make a thousand from. Hmm. Computer components. That could be really good. I'm going to have to relook at this. So I'm here. I don't know what the big problem is. What's this place called? Romana something? Romano State? Let's look. Let's make sure here. Man, they're really building up the speed. Lock the D. That's what she said. There it is. And it's very close, actually. Yeah, let's slow down a little bit here. Oh, wait, it's a thousand, yes, that's pretty close, isn't it? Oh, it's a million. I don't think it's a million, right? It's a thousand, a thousand light, oh, a thousand? Oh, that's a lot, yeah, let's let's bump the gas here. I'm like, what? I'm trying to figure it out, because like a thousand's huge. <laughs> oh, you know what I should have, I should have done? 
I should have thought about, I wonder if it calculates the time it takes to actually get out to the station. Distance 8.3. Mm, I don't think it does. But anyway, so yeah, I mean, what's cool about having that, um, what's cool about having the Atari, which is something I obviously haven't talked about yet, is that my kids get to experience the Atari. I experienced it as a small child. I was probably like 8 or 10 or something when it came out. And now my kids get to experience it because I have it. They get to play it. They played it. They played Pitfall. They played, you know, the old, the original Pac-Man combat. They played all those games, Breakout, all those things, right? And they, they get to experience that. Uh, same with the Nintendo. I still have my original, well, not the original Nintendo. I have I have the NES, but it's the, the one where you put the cartridge in the top because my, my original one died. Uh, yeah, I need to slow way down, way, way down. We're going to, we're going to overshoot. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just See, this thing doesn't know what it's doing. It's a retard. But, um, so they played that. Uh, my son has, my oldest son has beat Zelda. He's beat Final Fantasy II, America, the American Final Fantasy II. He beat, um, what else did he beat? It's a bunch of other Nintendo games, like Super Mario Bros. 2. I told him he had to beat that. All these things, I told him, if you're a real gamer, you'll play these games and beat them. Um, but, you know, if these really old games, I don't know if you're going to be able to play them on Steam anymore, right? I mean, plus you probably won't have a PC that, he, that can even play them. So, it might it might not just be that Steam doesn't host that game anymore. Like, you go to download it and you can't. I'm not sure if that's a possibility. But your computer probably won't be able to play it anymore. So, what's cool, that is one cool thing that consoles have, but you know what? Consoles are doing that too. You know, um, it's not like you're, Xbox Live and all those, they're streaming games now. You don't download it and keep it. You, um, the new style is to rent the game. Like you lease it kind of. Um, and so you don't own the game. You own privileges to play the game. And then when those privileges die out because you didn't pay or they take the game offline, you're, sh you're out of luck, bro. You don't ever get to play that game again. So I don't know. I think like it was kind of mentioned in the article or our kids, your kids, you know, might be missing out kind of because they can't play the games that dad played. And you're going to be like, oh, this isn't, you know, you guys got it easier. Well, this, you should play this game. It was, it was awesome, you know. Uh, and you don't have the option to actually show them that game, which I do. I have my Atari. I have the, Commander Joey, I have the uh, games I played with as a kid. I have the Nintendo, the original. I don't have as many games for that, but I have like Metroid, all the really staple games. Uh, I have Super NES. Um, I also have Game GameCube, uh, which actually they were playing when they were kids, so that's kind of neat. They're going to be able to show their grandkids that. Oh, cool! I've never docked at this kind of a station, or have I? So counterclockwise is over there. Always look for counterclockwise rotation on the axis, and you'll find where the uh, docking port is. So let's boost here. Let's get over there quick. Um. So yeah, they'll be able to show them GameCube, like my son and I used to play Gauntlet all the time. We beat that game, we leveled up a whole bunch of characters and stuff. Uh, it was really a lot of fun. Um, and then what else do we have? I don't have my original PlayStation. For some reason, I don't think it, it did it break? I can't remember if it broke or I lost some of the perf, like the, um, I don't know, power pack to it or something like that. So I got rid of that, but I had some cool games on that, like the original Diablo. Which, I felt like the original Diablo was a lot more fun on PlayStation, because it was just more fun with a gamepad. Um, but, but if I had that, they could, they could experience that. But, like, your kids are not going to be able to experience some of the games that you're, you know, paying a service for. You're paying a fee to play. Um, once it goes offline, that's it. <laughs> so, that sucks. Because that's going to be a piece of the history that you can't show them, you know? I mean, it's not, we don't play the Atari all the time, but... It's fun to bring out. It's even cool to, like, show people, you know, hey, this is the Atari. And they're like, whoa, man, I haven't seen one of these in years. And you talk about it a little bit. Everybody plays it a little bit. It's kind of fun. All right, we should probably request access here. Uh, let's see. Request dock. Request granted. All right, so let's maneuver here. Man, I'm a beast. Look at this maneuvering skill. There we go. Got a guy coming in right there. I don't know if that's MC or what. Doesn't matter to me. 36. Pad 36. Alright, pad 36. Let's cut cut power. There's 36 right there. Wow, there's a lot of. Whoa! Almost at the station. There's a lot of um pads here. 
Interesting. Line it up. Coming in hot again. So we are, we're beastly like that. So put the gear down. It's going to crash. And cut power. We should be able to get right over the... Yeah, I'm pretty beast at this now. I'm pretty pro at docking. And that's it. <laughs> I rammed into the station. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that in a larger hauler, but, you know, whatever. It's just this piece of crap, right? <laughs> Plus, I love, I love it come, kind of coming in hot. So, yeah. Um, it would be really neat if I could actually play a target. Target 2600 games and uh, actually show you guys. I bet you I could actually. I mean, not off the emulator, off the actual Target 2600. That would be pretty sweet. Kind of thinking I can't do that, but I've never tried. I don't know. So let's do fuel. Always do fuel first. Always, dudes. You don't want to get out there and not have fuel. Okay, uh, clothing. Let's sell these. Nice. Should make a big chunk of cash off that. And then we want to buy. Um, what's this? What's cool is this run is one jump. It thinks it's two in Slopies, probably because uh, my jump range is a little bit over six. It's not exactly six, but this thing's calculating using a jump range of six, so that's probably what it is. Okay, again, what am I buying here? I need to know what I'm buying. Return grain. Okay, I'm returning grain. Uh, do, 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 grain. Wow, that's not... You sure? That is like crap, pretty much. Oh well, whatever, right? Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's gonna make me much. Hold, whatever. Alright. Let's get out of here. Look, we probably have one more jump um, until we are gonna be shutting this video off. We're getting we're at 21 minutes, 22 minutes, something like that. And uh, then after this, I think I'm gonna try to get something a little more complicated with as far as uh, trade routes and stuff. Because I think we can make more money. Some of these runs are like 1300 apiece. But it's three jumps. Again, it says it's three, but I wonder if it's like two, you know what I mean? Um, okay, let's come out of here. Balls to the wall. Oh, watch out! Oh, damn! Can I? Oh, I did it! No, I didn't! Oh, damn! Oh, damn, cut power! <laughs> Living on the edge! I love doing that. Trespass? Oh, please don't shoot me. I'm trying to get out of the dock here. Here we go. Alright, we're good now, guys. Impact my ass. Hit it. <laughs> I like flying loose. Alright, so where are we going? We're going back to Chango, right? Alright, let's lock that sucker in here. Let's see, nav. Sticks. I boots. Let's go to some boots. Let's get to the boots. Where is it? Right there? I boots. All right, we gotta get out of here. Punch it, Margaret! There we go, we're locked in. Just waiting for the mass lock to come off. You gotta wait. Don't, don't even be scanning me. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, I think, I think this other way I wanna make money is gonna be kinda risky. Hey look, there's Earth and an Ice Age to the, to the left there. That's what it looked like. Well, that's like a massive Ice Age though. I don't think it was like that, but whatever. Two, one, impact, go, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's definitely neat to have that, that Atari. Uh, it's act and it's actually the original system and everything. It's, I think they came out with a later version, just like Nintendo did, with, uh, you know, better hardware and a little bit more stable and things like that. But, um, but no, I have the original. All right, let's line ourselves. Let's get, let's do Chango. Let's do something like that. Where is the sucker? Oh, it's right there. That's pretty easy. 500. We're pros at speed now, or at traveling long distances now. We went 1,200 at the last one. Punch it! What are you doing? Get up there. Increase speed. I think I'm, I think we're close to the sun. Because once we move away from that mass, we'll be good. Yeah, see, now we're picking up speed. There we go. Fuel. Looking fine. So we're just trucking around here, guys. I should play some country music for, like, you know, because we're truckers and everything. All right, let's let's cut back. We're gonna overshoot here. Thirteen. Let's cut back. It's starting. It's trying to speed up on us. It loves to overshoot. This, this computer loves to overshoot. I don't know why it does that. Okay, not too slow. Yeah, we're coming in hot. Coming in hot, guys. Two. Oh, it reminds me of Top Gun when he was like. 
trying to buzz the tower and they're like negative ghost rider the pattern is full and he like buzzes by the tower and like spills everybody's coffee and stuff the uh, colonel's coffee and everything i'm surprised he never gets well i guess he wouldn't get in trouble for that per se but it's like what the hell man actually he probably would knowing air force regulations they're really strict on stuff like that I, Especially with dangerous maneuvers that could be avoided, because they're really huge on safety. That's like one of the most on safe, up, up to snuff on safety place things I've ever been in is the military. There's like safety for everything. There's like a safety monitor for the safety monitor. I don't, I don't know, but it's crazy. So I think, I think he would have got busted for that. Um, you know, in the movie he doesn't because that'd be boring. I mean, you can't just watch him get in trouble all the time. But he does tons of stuff that they would just not allow in the Air Force. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. How how'd we get on that topic anyway? So anyway, I really need stuff in the, in the comment section. What do you guys want to talk about? Um, I don't want to just talk about what I want to talk about all the time. It's, again, not much of a dialogue there. To me, the point is to have a dialogue. Coming in on Chango. Looking pretty good so far. Spee's okay. We're going to have to back up pretty soon here. Super Cruise looking good. Cargo still intact, making a little bit more money off this run than we were before. Smooth ride, smooth sailing, guys. I think this is going to be our last run because we're at 26 minute mark. Um, so I've got a couple other things I want to talk about, but I kind of want to save a couple things in reserve because, um, especially if I'm not getting topics from you guys, I'm going to have to come up with each, you know, the topics every time. So let's hear it. Whatever you want to talk about. I know Max was talking about Commander, like how the Dream Team stream came about um, from World of Tanks. Tell me if you want to hear about that. Um, or what I plan on doing in this game. Actually, or what about alliances in this game? I know there's already an alliance from EVE that's playing this game. And I'm not going to tell you who it is because I want you guys to talk to me. Put in the comment section if you know who it is. Safe disengage. There we go. Negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. Anyway. Yeah, that movie is pretty cool. It's a very, very cheesy movie, but still pretty cool. Top Gun. My little brother used to watch that like seriously like four times a day. Uh, it, it got really annoying after a while. I, I don't even know why he watched it so much. Yeah, it's it's a good movie, yeah, but I don't know. Play, I, how many times can you watch a movie like that before you're like, I'm so bored of this movie? Um, but it was, it's funny, it's the same thing with, like, Cinderella and Snow White. My little sister used to watch that like it was going out of style. I'm like, I don't get it. Counterclockwise up there, boost. Let's do this. We don't take prisoners, we come in hot every time. All day, every day. All day, every day. Um, there we go. That is counterclockwise, yes it is. I had a, I had a lot of fun with that last couple of docks. <laughs> <laughs> and kind of hitting the station. Um, fun stuff. <laughs> a little dangerous, but dangerous truckers, we call it. Yeah, we don't do just all... It's not all fun and games, guys. To make those trade runs quick, make money, you gotta be a little bit dangerous. You gotta be willing to take a risk. Let me know in the comment section if you want to hear me uh, do a whole episode in that kind of a southern accent there. <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, Chango. Been here a thousand times. Probably should upgrade my system. I was thinking about that today. It would cost a lot of money, though. Basically, would empty out my YouTube account. Not really willing to empty that account out. I've been saving up for something. I'm not gonna tell you what it is till I buy it. Um, it's pretty costly, though, and I actually have to spend. I actually it sucks. I have to spend my YouTube money on a bill. Something came up this month and uh, kind of surprised me, and now I have to spend my uh, YouTube money. I've been saving for like 10 months on some freaking bill. So that sucks. Let's get some docking status here. Let's request docking. There we go. Pad one. Let's get in. Uh, let's line up with the port here. There we go. Let's do it a little bit smarter this time, guys. Wow, it does not get any prettier than that. Let's boost through the dock because I'm a G. Through the port here. Slam on the brakes. There's. There's. Oh, 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 slam on the brakes. Reverse. Reverse thrusters. No risk annihilation. Stop boosting inside the station, you moron. All right, where am I at here? Ah, ha, ha, look at that. Pad one right, right underneath me. Almost, not really. All right, slow down, John. Hit the gear, buddy. 
Don't tell me to slow down. Oh, God. Shut up, lady. Shut up, Mom. <laughs> if I feel like coming in hot, I'm going to come in hot. Cut the fuel. Slam it down. <laughs> Sorry, but that is too much fun. All right. There we go. There we go. We didn't even hurt the, you know, the shit at all. It was fine. Man, stop being so, uh, so worried all the time, you know? <laughs> nice, very nice. Oh, I should watch that again. Um, Borat. I haven't seen Borat in a long time. All right, let's sell the stuff before I forget what I was carrying. I was carrying grain. They want grain. Again, buy fuel. Okay, that looks great. Back, back, back. Commodities market grain should be about right there. Man, look at that. I'm a pimp. Again, not making a lot off of that one, but I made tons off that first transaction. All right, so that's going to do it for Space Truckers 2. Let me know what you think. Again, I need a, I need uh, topics in the, in the uh, comment section, and I will see you guys next time. Stay frosty. Thank <laughs> you.